What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Bernie, Texas, and we are gonna take a look at this Goliath fifth wheel. This thing is absolutely enormous. It is a full profile fifth wheel, which means the roof is completely straight front to back, and it is also very tall. This has a lot of really interesting elements to it, and the interior on this unit I think is gonna blow you away. So hang tight, I'll be right back. As always, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. So this has a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,800 pounds. It rides on 16 inch F rated tires. I do wish that they put a G rated tire at least on this unit, especially at this weight. Has 2,800 pounds worth of cargo capacity. Unloaded weight of this unit is 13,940 pounds. Stepping back, this does have the LCI Rotaflex upgraded trail air pin box, basically, this piece right here rotates forward and back with a rubber cushion underneath it to help control and dampen some of the shock transfer between the trailer and the truck. And it is supposed to help eliminate a little bit of trucking. I don't know how much of that is actually true though. Nice large baggage door up front. You can see your spare tire inside. While I'm here, this is a Lodestar from Carrier. I've never actually heard of this tire and it's an F rated tire. I would definitely recommend they move to a G rated tire. This is a 12 ply rating tire. 14 ply rating would be my preferred tire. Has a battery box that can hold two batteries. Plus you can see your Xantrix inverter in here and you have dual power disconnects. And the wiring here is actually really tidy. So I gotta give it to them for doing that. I mean, that's super cool. This has the electronic ground control leveling system on it. Stepping back, cable driven slides all the way around. I do wish, well, you know, these are smaller slides. I was about to say I do wish they went with like a Schwintech or a Rack and Pinion, but because these are smaller, lighter slides, it's probably not that big of a deal. Coming around this way, you have 30 pound propane tanks on each side, and then you have these enormous storage doors here. So they pass all the way through. You can see you actually get a slide out tray here, which can open from the other side does not look like it's the kind that opens from this side. It does not have a drop frame, so that's why you see this section right here. It takes up a bit of space. Imagine if this had a drop frame. This storage space would be enormous. Has your ground control leveling system right there. And they use struts on this door because if it went up all the way, it would hit this. Nice thud, dual slam latches on all these doors. Outside of your furnace, outside of your water heater. 50 amp connection right here and it has a solar connection right here to keep the house batteries charged up again cable driven slide this slide wall system is supported by the actual side wall of the rv i prefer rack and pinion because it's supported by the frame this has a 12 inch main i-beam which is nice again those tires are the the one thing i'd probably say need to go pretty quick sewer connection here you also have your water drain valve right there if you want to drain it out really quick. Coming around this way, this does have the Moride Cree 3000 suspension equalizer, which is nice. Over here, oh, and this is locked, so I can't show you what's in this pocket. I actually don't know what's in these pockets. I'm gonna have to look it up to see. Typically, like on a toy hauler, this would be like a fueling station, but we'll have to see. We have another waste valve down there. LED lighting. It does have a two inch receiver with chain hookups, but there is no connector for lighting. So even though it appears that this is designed to tow a vehicle, there's no power connections for your trailer lights. LED lighting up top. It is wired for Furion wireless camera. It's got a ladder that tucks up against the back side. Coming around, this is a much larger slide, which is also cable driven. I definitely would have preferred this slide be on a rack and pinion. Coming over here, I've already opened up these two doors. Not the thickest baggage door. I would have gone to something a little bit thicker, perhaps. You have your slide out tray, plus you have 110 power there. A lot of storage underneath this unit though. Definitely. Let's close these up. 
All right, let's take a look inside of this Dutchman Yukon 399ML. Again, the interior of this unit is gonna blow you away because I think it's absolutely gorgeous. You have a little leash hookup right there for your dog leash. Step inside. Okay, so check this out. I can honestly tell you this interior really puts the exterior to shame. I mean, the exterior looks kind of humdrum, kind of your typical fifth wheel, but the interior of this unit, especially with the contrasting kind of board they use on the ceiling there and the trim, I think the interior looks fantastic. You have a really nice full-size sofa here, theater seating right here, and it's powered theater seating. You have your dinette right here, plus you have a televator in this enormous entertainment center area. Huge window. Coming over here, you have your nice stainless steel dual basin sink, really nice chrome fixtures, insignia cooktop. The cabinets are absolutely gorgeous. When I talk about compromises, this is kind of that compromise area. There's some areas on the outside of this unit that I would have absolutely done differently, but you can tell that to pull some of those features away meant to put some of those features into the interior of this unit. What do you guys think about that? Because from an interior perspective, this kind of meets that criteria of that wow factor, right? You walk in and you're like, man, look at these valances, look at these cabinets, look at this cooktop and this oven. You know, this stuff is not cheap, it's kind of pricey. So to be able to add all this to the inside of your RV, oftentimes is justification for some folks to overlook some things on the outside. And then you can remove this to open your Samsung French door refrigerator. Coming over here, huge pantry. Gotta love that pantry space. And I like what they've done with the floor here. So it's not carpet and it's not vinyl, but it's just really nice. I mean, it's a cool material here. It kind of has a modern, kind of a matted look to it, but it looks really nice in my opinion. But what are your thoughts there? Looking around again, big fan of the valances. Nice coffee station area right here, or serving area, whatever you want to use this area for. Looks like a coat closet right here. That's exactly what it is. Very nice. Then you got a step up right here with a pocket door that can close. You see how they trimmed off the bathroom? They did what we did in our unit by putting these little grommets to make sure that this stuff never comes down. Has your seat right here as an upgraded shower head. And again, I love these darkened batten strips right here too. Plus, look at that. It's a place for your washer and dryer, but it's also an enormous closet space. Of course, once you put your washer and dryer in here, not so much. Beautiful, beautiful vanity area with these really nice bowls. Love that. Plenty of room in these medicine cabinets. I mean, there's so much to like about the interior of this unit. Lots of drawers, lots of cabinets, and a private toilet room. I mean, this is really nice. You rarely see anything like this in a fifth wheel. Coming back, another pocket door. You have a nice large TV already mounted in the bedroom. Wide view panoramic fireplace in the bedroom. You got more storage here more above. Look at all of this wardrobe space. This is super cool. And this is the front of the fifth wheel, the overhang. Nice ceiling heights in here. You'd probably be six, seven and comfortably fit. But check out just the area in the bedroom. This is very cool. And what is super nice about this is the fact that when you look at the interior of this unit, it actually rivals in many ways the Van Lee Beacon that we had. You know, it's just, it's a beautiful looking interior. It's laid out very well. It's very, very cozy and comfortable feeling. But again, the outside is where I would have liked to see just a few things done different. And for the folks at Dutchman, if they're watching this, go to the thicker baggage doors, put a G-rated tire on, and that's really just about it. Thicker baggage doors and G-rated tires, and I think that that would help do it. And why the thicker baggage door? People ask me why I focus on that, because when you open and close them a lot with those strut arms there, you can see where thinner baggage doors tend to flex, and it's just a potential failure point. It's not as thick, so you don't get quite the insulation, and they're just not as rigid. So. 
the thicker baggage doors are just one of those areas you can spend a little bit more and get something significantly nicer. As well as the tires, spend a little bit more, put a G-rated tire on here, or even an H-rated tire, and I think you would have a absolutely fantastic setup. Put this slide on a rack and pinion slide. You know, the rest of them can be cable driven. I'm not too concerned about that, maybe even Schwinn Tech. But this one right here, I absolutely believe needs to be on a rack and pinion slide. Just, it's an enormous slide and it's very deep and very heavy. So, all things to consider. Anyways guys, what do you all think about this fifth wheel? Please let me know in the comment section below. Do you feel the same way I do, where the inside is absolutely gorgeous and the outside is kind of vanilla? Or do you think the overall package is absolutely beautiful? Or do you think that the interior isn't up to snuff with what you're expecting? Let me know in the comment section. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.